Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 153. I don't know why I can't remember that. I always have to go look it up someplace. Anyway, what you're looking at is my new, new radio. It's a Tungsten, Texan, whatever, son, PL 660. Just got it in. It was a gift to me. Uh, I really appreciate the gift. Thank you very much. And it's a radio that I've been interested in for quite some time. It's not a brand, brand new released radio. It's been out for a while, probably uh, maybe two or three years. But it's a very, very popular radio. And we're speaking, of course, AM, FM, shortwave, airband, um, and even longwave. And it has single sideband. So like I say, it's been out for a while. There's a lot of videos on it. Um, I'm not going to spend too much on um, the, the features of it, although I will give you a quick list here in a second. Because, there, like I say, there's a lot of videos out there that have done that, and you're probably familiar with the radio anyway. But I'm going to try to do something I have not been able to find in other videos, and that is to go through some of the details of some of the features. This thing is loaded with features. Let me just go through a list of real quick here. Uh, like I say, it's all band, uh, including shortwave, shortwave from uh, 1.7 megahertz to 30 megahertz, or 2.9999. Um, and FM, of course, uh, the shortwave also has single sideband capability so that you can listen to the hams, for instance, on single sideband. Um, it does have um, a synchronous detector for locking in the stations, um, like so many other radios have. Uh, I think Sony was the one that first came up with that many, many years ago. It has a telescopic antenna, that's how this picture right here, and it has a jack for an external antenna, and it comes with an external antenna, a long wire antenna. I think it's about 40 feet, something thereabouts. And it has the jack for it, so it plugs in here. Very, very handy. And as I pointed out before, using an external antenna, normally, like 99% of the time, will definitely uh, increase the sensitivity of a radio. So it's always good to use an external antenna when you can, unless you're in a condition where it makes it worse. It has uh, three levels of sensitivity. Here's a switch over here. And I'm trying not to touch this too much because it's kind of just hanging there. And I'll tell you why it's just kind of hanging there in a minute. Uh, it has uh, multiple tuning modes, and that's one of the things I want to get into in my uh, detailed review. It has a, what's called ATS, Automatic Tuning Storage Mode. That's a tuning mode. And in, within that mode, it has two sub-modes. I'll get into that um, in the next show. And like I say, I'm going to kind of go over and just, this is an introduction of what the radio is. And then I'm going to do a series on this radio about some of the features. For instance, the ATS feature. That's going to take me an entire show just to show you all the little complexities and, and options under that feature. Okay, getting back to tuning modes. Um, also has uh, auto scanning uh, tuning that uh, will, will tune through your uh, memory channels automatically until it finds a station. Manual tuning, of course, and then it has a keypad for direct tuning. Memory-wise, it can store up to 2,000 stations. 2,000. There's 100 memories for FM, AM, long wave, and airband. There's 200 memories for short wave, and there's uh, 200 memories for single sideband, and uh, 1,200 memories for various bands that you, whatever you want to stick into. So it's got plenty of storage. Now, the reason those are broken down that way is because when you use the ATS feature, it stores the 
channels or frequencies, stations that's found in a specific area depending on what mode you're in. So that's why it calls out those as being a separate set of memories basically. It has a, a kind of a small speaker because it is a small radio as you can see. It's, it's a definitely a portable radio. And it has an adjustable timer which most of them have nowadays. And backlight. Let me turn the backlight on. Although I haven't found a way to keep the backlight on. I put it on the AC adapter because a lot of radios will, if you've got on the AC adapter and you turn the backlight on, it'll stay on. But it appears this radio, no matter where the power is coming from, it's going to turn off. We'll see if a second here if it'll turn off. I think it does. And a snooze function, so if you can you can listen to it, then it'll go off automatically. And it's powered by four AA batteries or uh, an AC adapter, which it comes with. It comes with the AC adapter also. So that's that's just a quick rundown of the features. And like I say, I'm I'm planning on doing a series on this radio about some of the specific. Uh, features, which I've not seen a lot of YouTube videos that go into detail about the features. And the first one I'm going to start with, not on this show, but on the next show, is the ATS, the um, automatic, what do they call it again, tuning storage feature for uh, scanning through the bands and finding stations and store them in your memory and you can go back and review them and delete them uh, or whatever, move them, whatever you want to do. So that was that's going to be the first feature I do. It also has, as I mentioned before, it has a uh, single sideband. So I'll have a, a show on single sideband capability and reception. And uh, it has... Uh, uh, synchronous detection. Now I have seen videos on its synchronous detection capability and I hate to say it but I wasn't impressed with its ATS capability. Now maybe it was the person that was operating it, maybe it was the radio, I don't know, but we'll see. And I probably do, I'm thinking maybe three videos, three shows on this radio covering those various uh, unique functions. Now, uh, now that I've kind of gone over in general the features and introduced, introduced what I'm going to do, one thing I want to show you that's a little disheartening, and they did do something on the newer model, which this is a brand new model, that helped. But, as I was saying initially, I've kind of got this propped up so that you can see the face of the radio. Because, and I'm, now I'm going to disturb my setup, and I'll probably never get it set up again. It, let me take this box out of the way, which I got it propped up against. Put that down on the floor. And I'm going to put the antenna down so I don't break it off. That's my biggest fear is of breaking one of these antennas off. Kind of sensed it. Now, I don't know if you can tell, and maybe if I turn it on its side here, that it doesn't have a really flat, flat, flat bottom. So, setting it up, it does a pretty good job, but it's kind of wobbly, and you could easily knock it over, and if you had the antenna extended and it hit something, it could snap it off. Well, the earlier models didn't have, which most radio nowadays have, is this little guy right here. They didn't have, the old early, early models didn't have that. So you could not set it down like that and view it. Now this is a comfortable viewing angle if you're sitting at the radio. It's, it's not a good angle if you're trying to show a video of it. you got to set it up like this. So I had that box behind it in case I bumped it, it didn't fall over. 
So that's one drawback. Now, the other thing that I don't quite understand, and of course I'm not the uh, smartest kid on the block, and I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's a little wire thing that extends out, oops, extends out this way. And it's supposed to help the base somehow. Now let's set it back down. Now it's not going to help it from tilting over if you got it sitting straight up. So I'm not really sure. I mean, it does help it a little bit from tipping over. I want to put it back in, slide it back in. So maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but not much. But that's one thing that um, the earlier models did not have this. So if you wanted to sit it down so that you could look at it on your desk and tune it, you, you had to find something to prop under it. And I, my guess is, and I didn't try it, but my guess is if you <coughs> excuse me, tried to prop it up with a book, it would have a tendency to slide off the book. So at least... They've um, they fixed that, or yeah, I would say they fixed that problem because this does work quite well. Pull this little thing out, and it sits down. And this is, like I say, if you're sitting at the radio, this is a good viewing angle. So that's fixed. Um, the other thing, as far as the knobs are concerned, uh, they work quite well, although they're kind of small. Here's the tuning knob. It's kind of small, and uh, this down here, it has another feature I'll talk about later, or in another show. It is, has a BFO for tuning sh short uh, for tuning single sideband on shortwave, and I'll get into what the BFO does and how it works. But most, not most, but a lot of newer Portable radios like this, shortwave radios with single sideband, don't use a BFO. The tuning, uh, the circuitry inside does this feature or whatever. And uh, I prefer, I'm from the old school, of course, the real old school. And all the radios I had with single sideband had a separate BFO knob. So I like that. I like that. Some people think it's just extra work to have to do. So um, it also comes with a, uh, like I say, it comes with an antenna. Let me set it down here. Let me dig out the box again. Comes with a nice carrying pouch. Uh, it's not a carrying pouch that you can put the radio in and use the radio. It's strictly for uh, carrying and storing the radio. But it comes with that. At least it comes with one. Nice one, too. Nice feel to it. And here is the spool of antenna wire it comes with, with the connector. That's pretty nice. They provided that. And it comes with an AC adapter, and it comes with some earbuds. Buds. Buds. Um, so that you can listen to FM stereo. So that's what it comes with, and uh, that's kind of a general overview. I really didn't even want to spend this much time of the features of the radio, and I'm going to, like I say, do a series, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see what it, whether I like it or not. I think I'm really going to like this radio. Like I say, it's a very, very popular radio. Okay, that's the uh, show for today. If you got any comments. Or you got one of these radios and you like it or dislike it, or specifically, if you found something about this radio, a specific feature that you like, please leave a comment. Or if you find something you didn't like, like I, you know, it's kind of I don't like the the base is a little wobbly, but not not a big deal, um, because generally you don't have the radio, a portable radio, sitting up when you are listening to it or tuning it. You usually have it propped up or you have it sitting in your lap. 
So leave me any comments you might have. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my videos. We're up to uh, about 675 subscribers. And remember, at 700, I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm going to give away this meter right here. Oops, that doesn't fit in the picture. I'm so close. So I'm going to be giving away this multimeter to someone. Uh, draw their name out of the hat. And if you go to show, I think it was 141, you can find out the rules of the contest and how you enter it. And then at 1,000, we're going to give a radio away, similar to this radio, but not this radio. I think and this might be a keeper for me. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's the show for today. Bye-bye.